Saying goodbye to Gabby. Today, an entire Kentucky town paused to remember the seven-year-old found dead at a youth football game on Saturday. Officials still have not made any arrests in the young girl's murder. News Channel 5's Chris Conti shows us how Gabby's hometown bid her a final farewell. We don't have any more balloons and we don't have any more ribbons either. I'm sorry. Unable to find the words that express their broken hearts. No, we were looking for a pink rose and they're all gone. Scottsville, Kentucky has instead chosen a color. We've been making bows. We made over 200 bows in the last two days for people to put on their cars, on their mailboxes. Pink was the color Gabby Doolin loved most. At Hobney's florist, Kelly Kenny has run out of pink flowers and pink bows. It just seems senseless, tragic. They instead now line the streets here, punctuating this town's pain. Things like that aren't supposed to happen in a place like this. Had she not been found murdered, you'll see a crowd. Had it not been at her brother's youth football game, look at all the balloons. Had she not been seven years old, they had to move it because uh, they were expecting so many people. And Tina Garman might not have been as compelled to stand here today to help say goodbye. This family's strength, I'm sure, is just about gone, but maybe they can gather a little bit from all of us. Gabby approached in silence. Silence that was deafening. Gabby's parents stood closely behind their daughter's casket, shouldering a grief no parent should ever have to bear. My parents aren't supposed to bury their babies. No. Even the youngest residents of this small town are lost. She did not deserve it. She was just an innocent baby. I mean, seven years old, that's a baby. She, did, she didn't deserve any of this. Words may not adequately describe how they feel, but in Scottsville, Kentucky, pink is now the color of heartbreak. Chris Conti. News Channel 5. Kentucky State Police say they are working tirelessly around the clock to find Gabby's killer. They haven't made any arrests. Anyone with information, of course, is asked to give them a call.